Hi, Jonathan. This is Leslie Roberts with Ultra Medical. Thank you for taking uh, the time to do the inspections for American Greetings and also do the training. Wanted to run through quickly um, how to do the inspections on the Zola ED. I'm sure you're familiar with them, but there's some specific things that we're looking for. So when you um, find the AED, obviously note where it's located so we can tell which ones. <clears throat> and then the first thing we're going to look at is what the serial number is on the back of it. It's going to start with an X. The next two digits are going to stand for the year it was made. The next digit is what month it's made, and then it's the serial number back here. So note the serial number. <clears throat> then we'd like you to pop the back off and take a look at the date on the batteries. So you just take a screwdriver, or if you have a quarter, That'll work too. There should be 10 batteries in the back, and they'll have a, a, a date on them. A lot of them will be like March 2024 right now. If you discover that an AED needs to have the batteries replaced, you need to remove all the batteries and take them all out, and then put the new ones back in. And when you put when you put the new ones back in, you have to hit the green reset button to restart the, the, uh, the clock on the batteries. So we want to make sure that, and the other thing is you want to make sure that they're Duracell batteries. There's um, specific ones that you can use and you cannot use quite a few of the other brands. So if they don't have Duracell, you need to know what brand of AED or what brand of batteries they are. Next thing we want to look at is the date on the pads. These are the Z pads. There's an expiration date here on the pad. This particular one says 428 2021. The pads are good for five years typically with a Z pad. They should also have this little CPR kit with them, and we'd want you to note if it for some reason it doesn't have there. The next thing you want to look at is to see that it has the green X. If um, the AED is working, the green X is going to be showing. And then we want to look at the faceplate. It should have 2 and 30, meaning the current standards are 2 compressions, or 2 breaths to 30 compressions. But if it has these particular tilt the head and give 2 breaths to start with, this is an old unit which says that the software is going to need to be updated and the faceplate needs to be updated. And I can show you how to check that. If it doesn't have these two, if it just shows the arrow going straight to that one, then it's been probably been updated. Okay, so we talked about you're going to check the date on the pads. The next thing we're going to do is to find out what software version this is. And in order to do that, I'm going to hold this start button down for at least seven seconds. So I'm holding this down for seven seconds, and you'll see that it'll start to go through, the lights will circle around. And we want to do this to determine what the software version is. And if you hold it down about till now and then let go, it will come back and do its self-test. Unit, okay. You're going to look for these serial numbers. Anything less than a 6.32 here indicates that the software version needs to be rechecked or needs to be updated. So that's what we're trying to do with the software version. You can stop the unit by holding the, the, uh, the on-off button. Unit, okay, adult pads. And it will, it will stop. The next thing we want to do is to test the AED on the simulator. We're going to remove the adult pads. We're going to plug in the simulator. We're going to turn it on, and we're going to put it into ventricular fibrillation, which is VF. At this point, we're going to turn the AED on, and it's going to start to go through the analysis. Unit OK. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Don't touch patient. Press flashing shock button. Shock delivered. Start CPR. 
So then at this point, you're going to push the CPR button here, and it should go through and start to provide the net metronome. should come back and say push harder at some point. Okay, this one's just providing time. So that's basically what you're going to do on terms of the simulator. You're going to turn it off. You're going to unplug the pads, plug the correct pads back in, turn it back on. And if you notice when you put it back in, there's still a red X here. So you need to turn it back on to clear out that red X and then turn it back off. And when you do that, you should be back to a green X. So that's what we'd like you to do in terms of the maintenance. Again, we'd like you to write down the serial number. We'd like you to check the dates on the batteries. We'd like to have you check the date on the pads. And also, they may have a, another pad. This is a Z-pad. Um, it's possible they have a stat pad, but most common are the Z-pads. And then check to see that the faceplate is correct. Again, these two items should not be there. And then check the, um, the uh, software version here. If it does need software update, we'll provide the stickers for you and the CD to update the, the uh, software at the next, um, for the next inspection. Oh, one other thing I forgot. Obviously, you're going to put the lid back on. You've got to push down hard to do that. And then also want you to check to see what other accessories might be in um, with the and note whether or not it has a carrying case, whether or not they have pediatric pads, which probably not likely, whether or not they have spare pads. And then sometimes people will have a fast response kit with it. So if you could note those things as well. Any questions when you're there, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you.